Hi, my name is Alvin Alexander, and this is a short presentation on how to create a Hello World application in Scala. I'll cover three main points in this video. First, I'll show two different ways to create a Hello World application. Second, I'll show how to compile the source code with Scala C and run the application with the Scala command. Third, I'll add another class to the application to make things a little more interesting. In the first example, we'll create a Hello World program using a main method and a Scala object. To get started, I created a file named hello.scala in an empty directory and I placed these contents in the file. There are a couple points to make about this code. First, we use an object instead of a class. In Scala, you use an object to create singletons and the equivalent of Java static methods, so an object here makes main work like a static method. Second, I've given the object the name hello. This is the same syntax as giving a class the name hello. Next, we use a main method to get things started, just like in Java. Also, just like in Java, main takes an array of string. The only difference here is the syntax. This is how you create a string array in Scala. Finally, in Scala, you can just say printline instead of system.out.printline. Next, I save this code to a file named hello.scala, and then I'll compile it with Scala C, like this. Using the ls command, we can see that this creates two class files, hello$class and hello.class. These are both normal Java class files. I'll discuss this more in a future video, but for now I encourage you to run the java p command on these files to disassemble them and see what they contain. For the time being, I'll display the java p output here so you can pause the video and review it, but I won't discuss it. First, here's the java p output on hello$class. Next, here's the Java P output on hello.class. Now that we've created these class files with the Scala C command, we can run our application using the Scala command like this. As you can see, this prints our hello world output. In our second example, we'll create our hello world program using Scala's app trait. There's a second way to create a Scala object to kick off your application. Rather than use a main method, just specify that your object extends the app trait, as shown here. When you do this, the body of the object is essentially the main method of your class. To demonstrate this, I'll again save the file as hello.scala, compile it with Scala C, and then run it with the Scala command. Again, you see the output from our print line statement. You can use either approach, and I personally prefer using the app trait. To bring these examples a little more into the real world, let's create a class that we can use from our main method. We'll define a person class we can use in our application. The class constructor will take one argument, a name, which has a type of string. Notice that I created this as a case class. I'll discuss this more in future videos, but for now the important thing is that defining person as a case class and name as a variable gives me accessor and mutator methods on name for free. For instance, because I created the person class like this, I can create a new person instance like this, supplying a name to the constructor. Once I have an instance of a person, I can access the name field as in this print statement. Putting this all together, here's the source code for my new hello.scala file. The first line of code contains my definition of the person class. After that, the rest of the code defines my hello object. Within the hello object, I create a person instance and then I print the person's name. As usual, I save the file, compile it with Scala C, and then run it with the Scala command. In summary, we covered three main points in this tutorial. First, I showed two different ways to create a Hello World application, once using a main method, and then using an app trait. Second, we saw how to compile the source code with Scala C, and then run the application with the Scala command. In the real world, I highly recommend using the simple build tool, or SBT, to compile and run your applications. But when you start working with Scala, it's helpful to know that Scala C and Scala work just like the Java C and Java commands. Third, I added a class name person to our Hello World application, so you can start to see how to define and use multiple classes in an application. I specifically created this as a case class, so I wouldn't have to write an accessor method for my print statement. As a bonus, I also showed how to use the Java P command to disassemble the first class files we created. Because class files are just regular Java bytecode files, you can use Java P to examine them. I hope you enjoyed this Hello World tutorial. My name is Alvin Alexander. I've written the Scala cookbook, and you can find me at alvinalexander.com. Thank you.